So we are here out in the D.R. Horton uh, New Model Homes, which is on the north side of Cathedral City. Again, once again, it's a beautiful morning here. It's not too cold, but it's de definitely nippy. We'll see you in a few moments because the balloons will be taken off soon. All right, so I said it is cold. So look at my jacket. Look at her jacket. <laughs> we have our hats on. We're ready to go. Uh, tell me your name. Uh, Kelly. Kelly, are you from here in Cathedral City or from the area? I'm actually from South Dakota. South Dakota. Yeah. Well, welcome to our beautiful de Thank desert you. area. Yeah. So how did you find out about the Hot Air Balloon Festival? Yeah. You know, I've always yeah. been interested yeah. in going up in a hot air balloon, and it's actually my birthday today. Is that right? And so well, we were on birthday. vacation, thank you, and so I said that's the one thing I want to do today, and I ended up finding out that there was a festival and I could get a ride, and so here I am. That's so, have you already signed up? Are you yep. taking a ride today? Yeah, I am, yeah. And so you signed your life away? Yeah, so I guess you could say that, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing, so I'm, I'm with you also. <laughs> So you're here by yourself, here with your family? I'm here with my family, yep. And my dad and my brother are going to join me up on the flight today. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a fantastic yeah. birthday experience. It is. it is. And I think we have a beautiful day for it us. It is, it is. All right, well, happy birthday and enjoy your flight. Thank you. All righty, so we are, if you look over my shoulder here, this is actually the first balloon that's going to go up today. Now, I'm going to back up just a little bit closer to them. You can actually hear actually how loud it is. That's a propane actually going into the balloons. You'll see that the basket is currently on its side, both on my left-hand side. You see the basket on the side. And on my right hand side, you see the basket on the side. And the reason that is, is that the balloon has to blow up first. And then once it gets enough power in it, it'll actually pull the basket up straight. And then we'll be able to get inside it. I don't know if this is a balloon I'm going inside of, but we'll, we'll soon find out. This is the sixth annual Hot Air Balloon Festival. We're right in the middle of it. It's getting ready to start. I'm going to show you here that you see that the baskets are on the side a little bit closer. Listen how loud that is because it takes a lot of power to get these balloons up in the air. This is the first of 30 different balloons that will be going up. And within a few hours, well, probably within the hour, if you look up above your ears, look up into the sky, Cathedral City, you will be able to see these balloons going overhead. It's going to be a beautiful day here in Cathedral City. All right, so you can, you can tell now that the balloon... Notice how now the sound goes down a little bit. It's going a little bit lower now because the balloon is getting very close to being with the, the, the amount of uh, air that needs to be inside it, I guess you would say. You see the, the uh, baskets on the side. Now, there must be about, uh, I don't know, maybe about five or six gentlemen and individuals here on this side of the balloon who are helping this side. But I'm going to go over to my right or to your left here. And if you can see over here on the right, almost right behind me, I don't know if you can see the strings or ropes that are out there. There must be another three or four folks who are on that side because they are going to hold the balloon over there on that side so when it lifts up, it doesn't go anywhere. And then they'll be coming back over here to this section. All right, hi, uh, tell me your name. Uh, Ramon. Ramon, and uh, tell me the name of this balloon. Is there any, any certain person? Um, this is Justin's balloon. This is a small balloon. Um, and we'll be following him pretty shortly after we take off All right. in a little bit here. And um, whose balloon is behind us? This is Steve's balloon. Steve's balloon. Yeah, and okay. he's the one running the whole show, obviously. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah. And so let me, I'm going to stand over here. How long does it take to actually blow the balloons up and get them ready to go up? Um, about 15 to 20 minutes 15, with 20. both fans blowing. And uh, yeah, as soon as we start the burner, it, it, another five minutes after that. Is that right? And how mm -hmm. many, approximately how many people does it take to get the balloon ready to go? I see there must be four or five of you guys here, and there's two more folks on the other side. Um, usually this small balloon takes about a crew of three. And this one takes about a crew of four or five, depending on the, the weather also. How do you know when it's ready to, to actually lift the basket up? Is it, um, does, the bas does the balloon tell you or do you tell the balloon? We, we control everything. Control we tell the balloon everything. Um, usually when Justin hops in the, in the uh, basket and he lights the burners up, that's when it's go time. Right. Everybody's got to go to the post. Uh, and get ready for anchor the basket down. We anchor it down with weight, and after that, Justin is ready to go. We uh, we untug the line, and then uh, we take off from there. And it pretty much seems that when it's ready to go, it's going. Right? Yeah, there, there is, is no stopping it. Right in no, <laughs> we uh, we fly according to the wind. The wind directs us everywhere, uh, so we're at the wind's mercy basically the whole time. All right. Well, yeah? thank you for joining us here. You're Good welcome. Luck. Thank you. All right, so this is what I like to consider the good part of the morning because I don't know if you can tell, but the fire, or the propane is, de is definitely coming on now. And as I get a little bit closer to the basket, it's definitely warmer here, so this is the good part. You can see the basket is slowly getting ready to turn over now. The balloon is blowing up and going, coming up into the air. It's amazing how actually big these balloons are. 
you can see we have about one, two, three, four, five of the individuals in the, who are part of this balloon helping to turn things over, get things ready. Ooh, nice and calm all of a sudden. Look how many people it takes to actually get this upright. It's amazing. Here we go, here we go. I'm looking around, I'm looking around throughout the area here, and this is actually the first balloon to actually first really stand up straight. Here we go. Remember, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you can come down here and be part of this, be part of the balloons that are blowing up. And of course, you can also take a ride. So here is our birthday girl. She's now getting ready to come into her basket, her and her family. I'm going to show you on the right-hand side here how they have to step into the little holes here to get up inside. Okay, as, our, as the gentleman told us just a few moments ago, once this balloon is ready to go, once any balloon is ready to go, there is a small limit of time you need to get in and the balloon needs to stop. So it looks like we have about uh, seven, eight, nine, ten people on the outside who are uh, helping the balloon be prepared. Our birthday girl is inside. It's nice and warm here. Gosh, it's nice and warm. You can see more and more people are stepping inside. This has all been pre-planned. It's pre-planned ahead of time so that when the balloon is ready to go, it's ready to go. And notice how close I am. I'm right here along the balloon. This, you can do this. This happens Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And of course, on Saturday evening, not only will the balloons be blown up like this, but you can actually dance within them at the Balloon Glow over in front of City Hall. And if you haven't done the Balloon Glow yet, that is a fantastic experience. Music, they'll be lit, they'll be lit up. So I'm going to see if I can count. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's about ten people inside of this basket that will be going up. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about ten people on the outside getting the balloon ready to go. So it's quiet now because, here we are, we're back again. I think all these people are very happy because it is very, very warm under here. Here we go, you can see the balloon slowly moving along the ground. It looks like the ropes have just been taken off. Some people are standing, some people are sitting. Of course, the pilot, he's standing. He has the, uh, the propane that he is, he is uh, shooting up into the balloon. Here we go. Here we go. Our first balloon of the, of the weekend is going up. There they go. So long, everybody. So the balloons are being blown up left and right now. Our first balloon took off. This is going to show you where it's at. This is balloon I'm going to go in. We just missed the first balloon. There it is, already up there, taking off, going in the direction it's supposed to go. This is the balloon that I'm going to go in. Very fortunate. Look how quickly this one goes up. The pilot of this balloon is Paul. That's him there getting things ready to go. I'm going to come down inside so you can see what it looks like inside here. It's almost like one of those bouncy balloons, but you can't go inside this one. 
I think there's about three or four people that are going to go in this basket with me when I go up there. And hopefully if all goes well with our technology, I'm going to be able to do some filming from up inside of this basket. Look at that. This is the beauty about coming to these Hunter Balloon Festivals, especially here in Cathedral City. You really get to be up close and personal with these balloons, and that's always a lot of fun. Even if you don't want to go in a balloon or go on a ride, you can still be very, very close to them. You may not be able to notice this from home, but when that uh, propane blows with the flame coming out, it is so warm. It's like being in front of a nice, huge fireplace. And again, look how close everybody is. You're really close to these balloons. So normally I'm not in front of the camera, but this is Conrad Angel Corral's balloon and he's going to go up in it. They're getting it ready. We, we've given you your last rights. I will be back. Nothing safer than a wicker basket at a thousand feet in the air. <laughs> just amazing morning out here and we have this out here three mornings so if you missed it on friday come out here on saturday go on, on in So we are out here at DR Horton Homes in North Cathedral City. This is our Friday morning launch. And uh, if you haven't come out here, do so. They're having uh, free coffee, free donuts, and for everybody that comes on out. And then after the balloons are going up, you are more than welcome to come out and enjoy taking a tour of this brand new home development here in North Cathedral City with some wonderful homes that you will not want to miss. Uh, so come on out here. We're just north of Vista Chino off of Landau. Landau Boulevard turns into Rio Vista, and that's where you can find us. I'm Chris Farman with CCTV. All right. Oh, plenty of room. Did you say you've never done this before? Oh, no. Was that Paul, our, our pilot, who said that? <laughs> I did sleep at a Westin last night. So. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, if you sleep in a Westin, you can do anything. So this is Paul. Okay, a couple safety things. Yes. Stay in the basket at all times. Don't leave the basket unless I look at you and I say, you can get out, okay? All right. Now, if I say get out and she jumps out, then I go flying off and we... Okay. So, so uh, you want to stay in the basket. Keep both feet on the, gr on the basket floor at all times. If you lean out like this, your center of gravity, you could roll out. Oh, lovely. I'm ready to go if you're ready to launch me. Oh, you say, you said 15 minutes after it. Seven, so after they took off. Okay. It's only six. All right. Um, what else? Uh, these right here are fuel tanks. So you want you can hold on to the edges of these. You don't want to pull these levers or turn the knobs, but you can hold on to the edge. These are your handles here. You can hold on to these. You they're can hold on to these uprights. around the basket. Okay. okay. Um, are you riding? Can you hold on to yeah. this for me? Anything that you stick outside the basket, but it, if it falls, it stays out there. It's the outside. Basket. Okay. I would recommend cameras, everything, keep them inside the confines. If they hit the ground, that's a lot survivable than if they hit the yes. earth. Um, 
So Paul, you're you're our pilot, obviously. Yes. And who's our other our other passenger here? What is your name? What is your oh, name? I'm Jordan. Sorry. Jordan. Jordan. Hi, Jordan. And you are. I'm Conrad. Conrad Con and Jordan. Yes. And All what right. is your name? I'm Angela. I'm Paul's wife. Oh, sorry. It takes a, it takes a village, right? Yes, it does. <laughs> We're gonna follow that big balloon that's already up in the air. He's the hound balloon. Okay. We're doing a competition today called the Hare and Hound. So we're the hounds and he's the hare. And so it's just like the old uh, fox days when they would, the English would hunt foxes. All right. That's what we're doing is we're going to hunt him. I'm going to throw this marker at that X. The one who gets the closest yeah. The one who gets the closest to the X, the center of the X wins the competition. And so we, we all know what, or you all know what direction we're going. Hopefully the wind will go with us. Yeah. Is that that's the we idea? Have a general direction that we know we're going to go south uh, east. -ish. Occasionally throughout the flight, you're going to find some water like this that drops down on you. It's just condensation from the bird. Okay. If it's warm or kind of cool, it's water. If it's really cold, let me know because it could be cold. Okay. So it looks like we're going to be the second balloon up. Well, they're probably going to launch these guys in front of us. Oh. And so there are three balloon races this weekend, correct? Yes. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes. Right? Three competition days. And is it the best of three, or how, do, how does it work? The combined total of the three. Yeah. How you score each day, you get a score, and by the end of the week, whoever has the highest score wins the competition. And the idea behind the score is get your, your your yellow tag as close to the X as possible? That's how it works? Yeah. Whoever gets closest to the X is the one who scores the highest. Okay. And see, that we're, we're ready to go, but you see these folks here, they're pulling that string of this, that rope of this balloon yeah. in order to get it to expand a little bit. You see the pilots, they are always in contact with somebody out on the floor, out on the ground. You'll see another balloon just getting ready to take off here. As we were talking to one of the other individuals earlier, once these balloons are ready to go, it's a go. There is, I, don't, I don't believe there's much of a wait time. Especially when the wind is ready to go also. Tell us a little. I'm ready. Yeah, I can go over them. Angela, I need lead on. Whoops! Sorry. Can't go over without food. Okay, come on up to the front. Okay. Thank you. No, no, problem. Problem. no problem. I see how it is. I got What's that? I can climb above. Okay, we've just received our approval to let it happen. Angela's holding on for dear life to first we don't go anywhere. We have some help here also. <laughs> so long. It's a gorgeous day to be out here. Uh, we are flying. We are flying. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Whoa. We're chasing that balloon furthest out there, most of the ground. All right. Target. 
So we're chasing the balloon all the way out there. That's the furthest one. And we're just gonna take a look back for where we started. Well, this is the highest I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not. I've been on an airplane. Open, open. But open air, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. It's amazing how much uh, miles an hour about 500 feet above the ground and it's amazing how busy it was down where we were taking off and now it's just so calm and peaceful and Paul do you have any say under over the direction or you just have to say of how high and low you can go our control is up and down up we and down the balloon climb we can make it descend. by descending and, and climbing we try to find different directions of wind so that's how we steer at different altitudes you have generally different directions and is that what these people these balloons in front of us are doing going up and down trying to find the air trying to find that different layer of and so in the, in the competition it doesn't really matter who gets there first or last it's who gets there who and gets can drop the, who the last the, the the winds generally change as the sun comes up. The sun starts to warm the ground, the warm the ground starts to change the wind direction. So and that's right. how we so the later you are, the probability that the winds may change. And so you may not get oh. the right direction or oh. you may get an even better direction. Oh interesting. And are you looking for anything in particular other than you know where we're going? I'm looking at these guys down below me. So everyone's kinda of watching each other to see oh, yeah. where they are, how what they're catching. Yep, every balloon is an indicator of what direction we're going to go. Okay. All right. And Paul, you're, you're obviously uh, f doing this race today. This Have you been... Radar services terminated a squawk of VFR for each other. Alright, that's the airport. <laughs> It's important to be in touch we've with the airport. To, we've got to be listening to the airport. Exactly. So how long have you been uh, flying balloons now? Uh, I started back in 1990 uh, as a chase crew member. And then I started doing lessons in 1990. Sorry, I'm trying to just... Sure, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Back in 1990, I started flying in Albuquerque. Grew up in Albuquerque. Albuquerque is the balloon capital. Yes, of the definitely. And so... Um, so this is you and your wife who are, your, your wife is the chaser today. Yes. Uh, is there other family members who are in the balloon world of, of yours or it's uh, just you two? No, I have uh, three daughters and a son. Two of my daughters are student pilots. That's all right. Okay. I thought it would be cooler up here. It actually warms up. Warmer. About the first thousand feet, the air actually warms up. You definitely feel the difference also. Paul, tell me about the green and the red. What were you saying about that again? The green line spins us uh, clockwise. The black line spins us counterclockwise. We have what we call rotation. The red line controls us going up, uh, down. So if you look to the very top, there's a big parachute up there. Right? Yes. It's, it's a parachute valve. That valve, if I need to get down on the ground, I can pull that in front of us. If I want to stay on the ground, I let a little bit of heat out, and that'll keep us on the ground. And we at one time were very high, and we are very now close to the ground. 100 feet, 100 feet from the ground. We were at one time 500 feet. Just coasting over these homes here. So we can see the target balloon is, is that pretty much landed out there, Paul? Is that what's it's telling you that's the spot? Yep, that's where yeah. he's at. He's dropping the X on the ground. So now. he's dropping the X out there and we're going to go approach it. 
And when you get close to the to the spot that we're going to try to drop your your handkerchief or your scarf to, will you try to uh, slow down and approach it, and, or you just you just kind of go towards it? We're just trying to work our way towards just it. Towards it. So a racer balloon is more aerodynamically designed to go up fast and come down fast. And that's that distorting. And that'd be that balloon out there. That's that balloon right there. There's a couple of racers out there now. You can see one, two, three, four. We actually have some world champions out here right now. With us. And speaking of that, are do you are you all doing the doing the same uh, uh, route of, of of for the race? I mean, are We're you are you all? <laughs> I mean, but are you are you all? Um, you all left somewhere and you're, you're coming here together and then from, from here you'll go somewhere else? Yeah. No, yeah. we're all, we're from all over the place. All over, I'm from okay. Chandler, Arizona. Uh, some of them are from New Mexico, California, uh, Oklahoma. Some from all over the United States. There's a prize package that we can win and I think first prize is $4,000 or a trip to Hawaii. Oh, all right, okay. I'll say yes to, yes, yes and yes to those. There's an incentive. <laughs> Technically, not a competition pilot, so I don't. And a lot of these guys ride the comp; they go through the competition circuits. So we are now crossing over. I can't, I don't know what street. It's probably Date Palm, and just past Date Palm. Fine too. Going into and away from. So, right so you see these balloons in front of us are going up and down because this is the spot that the uh, uh, handkerchief or the scarf will be dropped and everyone's just going to try to, I guess, get the, get as close as they can to uh, to dropping it. So Paul, do you, do you have to be so many feet above it to drop it or can you get almost right on top of it? Best is to be right on top of it. So you do see one of the chaser cars behind us. I would guess that's what that are right there in front of us. They've been following us since we took off. I guess uh, to be aware in case anything goes on, they're they're close at hand. And we're now getting pretty darn close to the ground because, as I think Paul mentioned, a little bit of different wind velocity down here. It looks like we're going to land. Because if you land before you drop your handkerchief or your scarf, you're out. Look how close we are to the ground. And there are balloons definitely following us. And as Paul mentioned, uh, you know, we're following someone else, they're following us. Here comes another balloon coming down to the ground to pick up this wind velocity, just like we are. Almost going to scoot along the ground on the desert floor. When you go to drop your handkerchief scarf, do you just want to drop it down or can you throw it at it? You can throw it. You can throw it. Yep. So it's getting it prepared. Unfortunately, I didn't get the right hand turn. So I don't see the X, but it's going to be coming up soon. And those balloons that passed, they're done, they're, yeah, they're, they're done. They're done. So we may be a little left of where we want to be, but Paul, have you been uh, practicing your pitch and your throw? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
and you can't go up and down to stop it. You you just you're just rolling. I'm just rolling. You're rolling. There it goes. And did you see the X somewhere? It's right over there. It's over there? Yeah. See the X on the ground? Um, I'm really bad at it. Probably this. would have been better to throw it right here because that would have been closer. <laughs> We're at the mercy of Mother Nature. We've thrown ours. There are folks coming behind us. And now we go towards the landing, wherever We're that may be. Fly on now We're just going to fly for a while. Go up and see what the winds are doing. Play around. All right. Take some more pictures. So, what are we doing? Why are they off and we're on? They're getting off and then we're on? Did they fall or something? <coughs> they landed. Grass is always good to land on. Grass keeps our balloons clean. Yes. Because I noticed this person here has landed already. Yeah, he's right? done. Now when we do go into land, not quite yet, but what I'll ask you to do is go ahead and put your cameras away, put everything in your pockets, have your hands free. Sure. You're going to want to face the direction that we're traveling. I'm going to have you face this way. You're going to hold on to these right here. Okay. You're just going to kind of bend like this and kind of keep yourself from falling forward. All right. You're going to face this way. You're going to hold on to these. Mm -hmm. Hands here, here, and you're just going to keep yourself from falling backwards. Okay. Okay. It, I'll let you know when right. we're going to do it. We're still a few minutes out. And it this, is an opportunity sport, so whatever opportunity we get that looks like a great place to land, we're going to land. You're going to land, right. <laughs> You're looking now. And this little, this little piece of equipment here is telling you what? It's telling me the direction that we're going and speed. So it has uh, heading, speed, altitude. You can see the balloons are landing, landing wherever they find a good spot. Can a balloon go? It just depends on the wind. The fastest recorded hot air balloon was uh, 240 miles an hour. Got yep. into the the jet stream and was doing about 240 miles an hour. Wow. The jet stream at 30,000 feet. Oh my god! That's pretty rare. We don't normally go that high. How that can you even control high. that? Yeah. The fat. Well, you're moving with the wind, so it doesn't even feel like you're moving. Wow. You know, like right now, we don't feel any wind. This is exact. That's exactly how it feels. I've been up to 41 miles an hour before. So pretty much everyone's looking for places to land yeah, now. now. I like flying an hour. My average flight is 1.3 hours. I don't see any reason to fly less than that. No. And will you fly, can you fly more than once a day? Or is, or is once a Generally, day? Generally, we fly once a day. If, if uh, in the wintertime, November, December, January, February. <laughs> We'll start flying twice a day. We'll start doing afternoon flights. Uh, the air is a little more turbulent in the afternoon, hmm. and uh, you're limited by sunset. So on an afternoon flight, you have to be on the ground before sunset. Oh, is that right? Okay. So we are now flying over Rancho Mirage High School. You see the kids are coming to school, and we're up having a good time in the air. And little B is up this high in the air. It's pretty bizarre. I've had one come through the basket and just kind of go like this with us. <laughs> I've had a ladybug do that too. So it looks like we have a lot of open space here. Is this where you're going to try to land at? Yeah, this looks like yeah, a lot of we'll spots. We'll just kind of play it by air see what we got in there. 
It looks it's open, but it's not real clear. Yes, yes. See, this balloon is landing. If you look right silver behind the basket, silver, there is a runner right behind them. We're going to catch that basket. Fish. Nice touchdown. Go oh. ahead. I'm going to fly on um, about another 15 minutes, and it looks like I'm, uh, just where that Remax balloon is, I'm going to land on the other side of where you got it. Looks like we have a nice opening over there. We're heading this direction. Yeah. And you can see off in the distance, I believe that's Agua Caliente uh, Spa and Casino. That's the direction we're going to go. Look at this day. Beautiful. Remember, you too can take a hot air balloon ride. Balloon.com or discover Cathedral City. Go on to the website, find out all about this weekend and of course the next year. This is the sixth annual Hot Air Balloon Festival and Food Truck Fiesta. Hot Air Balloon Festival today, Food Truck Fiesta, and more balloons tomorrow and Sunday. Silver lining shape. How's that for a view of the desert floor? A nice casual spin. We're going to land here just... We're coming over this little ridge here, and then we're going to land right past this, between here and the casino. At least that's the idea. Don't slow down, we're only doing five now. See if we had landed earlier with the rest of those guys, we landed at two miles now. Good spot for a landing. Oh, it's really open over there. Yeah. Sign off because we need to hold on. Lift it off from Earth under their own power in a hot air balloon. And so 
November 21st, uh, 80, uh, 283 years ago. First wave man 